This article was submitted by Patreon supporter Alexander. Solar power underestimated by 4,800% in the USA, which is uh, pretty spectacular. It's an article that came in electrek.co. Uh, and uh, it's written by John Fitzgerald Weaver, who left the banking industry to get involved in solar, um, which is pretty amazing. So <laughs> what this goes into it, there is the, the United States uh, U.S. Energy Information Administration, the EIA, in 2006 predicted how much solar would be used in 2016. They predict that it would be 0.8 gigawatts of solar power would be installed in the United States by the end of 2016. The actual number was closer to 40 gigawatts, which is 4,800% greater, 4,813% greater than what they predicted. Um, so what this, this, this is, a, this is a, again, going into the, the economics of how solar and wind can really help us in many, many ways. As I uh, did a story on the 5,000 gallons of oil that have leaked in South Dakota from the Keystone XL pipeline, it's mo all the more reason for us to be getting into solar. What this article will also go into is how it's, it's a great investment. Any of the like, you know, you don't have to sell hippies on this, I guess is my point. Um, that's preaching to the choir. Go to the money people, go to conservatives, go to people right or center, moderates, whatever, who are like, boy, I don't know, I'm going, and show them, look, and show them, look at this, you know. And again, these are jobs that can be created in America. Let me give you some statistics here. Solar power has saved the United States greater than 20 billion in health-related costs. And one in 50 new jobs came from solar power in 2016. So what does that tell you? It's saving health costs because fossil fuels make the air dirty, which cause health problems. So not doing that makes the air better, which costs us less money. One in 50 new jobs comes from the solar industry? That's pretty impressive. What can we do to get that up? How many more new jobs could we create in this country? Um, so there's some statistics here uh, from the, the targets uh, from the 2006 prediction survey from the, uh, the Natural Resources Defense Council. So, <clears throat> The 2006 prediction, um, we have used less CO2, we have, we have created less CO2 emissions than what the prediction was. Um, we have, uh, our total energy consumption is down from, the, what the, from what the prediction is. The coal power generation, way down. Natural gas power generation is up. And that's a key statistic right there. That's why the natural gas industry is pushing so hard. They saw an uptick because natural gas is clean burning, but fracking is awful for the environment. Creates ex We've had explosions in Colorado, as I've reported upon, by another Patreon supporter. We've had more earthquakes, has been reported in Oklahoma. Dangerous shit. Wind and solar power generation is way, way up. It is 383% more than what was predicted 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. Installed solar capacity is, as I said, that was the 4,800%. The installed wind capacity is 361% more. The actual number is 361% more than what the predicted number was. So these are good trends. This is actually good news. This is something to get behind. Um, so. Here is, um, let me give you some other stuff like what the, what the potential are here. Um, is why all the more, we should all the more be petitioning our representatives, our lawmakers, is because we gotta talk about how the whole world is going wind and solar. And now China is surpassing us and we're, we're giving up jobs right here in America. That is the tactic to take with a politician. Get more wind and solar production here in the United States or whatever country you live in so that we're bringing more jobs here versus, oh, they're made cheaper overseas. 
That should be, and I've talked about this time and time again, this article is just kind of talking about they're not using the term Green New Deal, but that's the term I always use because that's the term that the Green Party used, a Green New Deal, putting Americans to work, making green technology, green energy. This is what we should absolutely be doing. Instead, <clears throat> and, and fucking the Democrats have sold everybody on how great globalization is. No, globalization is great for the 1%. It's not great for working class people. It's not great for middle class people. It's not great for anybody that isn't in the 1%, you know? And if you travel around this country, I've been to some areas, you know, and it's a lot of this country, it looks depressing. People have lost jobs. They've lost hope. It's no surprise why some people gravitated to crazy ass Trump because the Democrats offered them nothing. And the Democrats should have been, should have been like, you would have think after eight years of Obama, man, there'd be solar powers and wind turbines everywhere. No, he just did a little environmental legislation here and there. He didn't really, he didn't really get behind it. And that's why we need a real progressive to get behind it. Because read this, tell this to politicians. Um, um, uh, U.S. politicians are talking about how to defend against solar panels imported from around the world. If these politicians hadn't seen their support in 2006, they probably would have not cared left or right about the solar industry if it meant we could hurt the competition from China. However, if they read about Saudi Arabia low price records and China racing past us and so installing solar, maybe they'd refine their positions. If they took time to recognize that tens of thousands might lose jobs in the USA with them signing uh, via pen, they definitely would refine their positions. Let's be blunt though, these politicians know there are more people working in solar power than those who extract oil and gas and coal in the US. Wow, I didn't know that. I'll say that again. There are more people in the United States working in the solar industry than oil and gas and coal. Jobs. It's about the economy, stupid. Give people jobs, they'll start listening about climate change. You go to some red state and show them jobs and cheaper and more effective ways to do it, they'll come on board and they aren't going to listen to any Democrat. They're just not. They're done with the Democratic Party. I can't blame them. And I don't know that I would, I wouldn't listen to the Republicans either. That's why we need a third party to really push this shit, man. Um, if 5,000 people died in Europe because of lies from the car industry, then how many people might we save by pushing harder to shift away from burning coal and gas? And how much harder might we push as individuals if we saw projections that were realistic? Look at these projections by these groups like the EIA. Recognize that they themselves recognize there are significant flaws and underestimations in their methodology and soldier on with whatever it is that you're doing that is green. We thank you. So keep going forward, you guys. I just bought an electric car. As I've said, electric cars are not the, they're not the, you know, the be all end all, but it's a step in the right direction. Using less, public transportation, using your bike, alternative fuel vehicles, all those things help and support the technology because ultimately this is a financial issue. That's the only way they're gonna respond. If you can get solar panels put on your home, do it. Look for tax breaks in your area. There's a lot of incentives. Many states have a lot of incentives. Get them on your place of business, whatever you can do. And that'll be the kind of stuff that makes a difference, that makes a change because they only respect the dollar. And if the dollar starts going solar and starts going green and starts going wind, then they're gonna change their tunes. So thank you for watching the show.